All right, so today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of the Med Architect Suture Practice Kit that you can get on amazon.com. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up, take a look at what all is included, and I'll kind of give you uh, my opinion on the kit. So let's go ahead and get started. So we want to thank the folks over at the Med Architect who sent us this suture practice kit so that we could review it here on our YouTube channel. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. We're going to kind of lay out everything and then we'll kind of go through it one by one. All right. So first off, we have a silicone pad and this silicone pad has several different um, pre uh, cut lacerations of different sizes um, and has some that you can practice corner stitching, some smaller ones that are a little more gapey, um, certain triangular wounds. There really is a nice um, array of lacerations to um, repair. Um, you can see that when you look inside, it doesn't necessarily determine the epidermis and dermal layers, uh, but it, it does look like a solid um, silicone pad here. So I'm going to go ahead and set that here. Um, also has some instructions or kind of a whether you're happy or unhappy with the product and it does they do have a satisfaction guarantee. Um, within this little kit it has a little pouch zipper. You can open that up and on the inside here we have some medical equipment. Uh, we have a holder for a scalpel blade and we have some scalpel blades here. Uh, we have some needle drivers, uh, which are good quality. Uh, we have some rat tooth forceps here. Um, we have some curved hemostats here and we have some scissors. Um, also here in the kit we have three um, blades for the scalpel. And these are appears to be 10 blades for the scalpel. So three 10 blades are also included um, within the kit. I really like this um, little zipper case to keep all of the equipment together. Like that's really handy. Uh, we also have this, um, this little pamphlet, or this little um, pocket guide that is included and it shows the different um, sutures. This is vertical mattress, horizontal mattress. It shows simple interrupted, simple running, and subcuticular running. Um, it also has kind of what size suture is recommended for each body area, what material, and how long you should wait to remove it. So this is a really handy guide that they include with your kit that you could stick in your white coat and take with you on your rotations. Um, last but not least, we have suture material that's included. And I'm gonna kind of open this up and take a look at all the suture material that is included. As we know, when we're practicing, we go through a lot of different sutures if we really wanna get the technique down. So it is really convenient that they include all of these. So these are silk braided 4-0, which are really nice practice sutures, really nice size for practicing. There are four. Uh, we also have a um, nylon or monofilament 4-0, which is uh, what I like to use uh, most often in the emergency department. It's a good versatile suture. We also have a polyester braided uh, 4-0. So there's one, two of those. We have a polypropylene monofilament 4-0. We have one, two of those. We have two silk braided 3-0s. We have two nylon monofilament 3-0s. We have two polyester braided 2-0s and two uh, polypropylene 2-0s. So we have quite a bit of suture material to practice with. I really like that they give you a variety of sizes and um, materials. So that way you can kind of get the feel for the different ones and see what you like to use the best. Um, so overall, this kit is, is really complete. It is, has everything that you need as a student or as a medical professional to practice your suturing. Um, I like the durability of the silicone 
and I really like the, the tools, the little pouch that it has, all the different practice material, and then the added bonus of the uh, pocket guide. So this is really awesome. Uh, what it will do in just a second is go ahead and run a stitch through here just to see how it behaves uh, with our tools and that should wrap it up. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and open up one of the silk braided 4O's so that we can uh, do a test drive of the silicone mat. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And we'll take this out so we can run a stitch and see how it how it works. All right. So the needle drivers are small, but they're pretty much the size that you would get in the disposable suture kits in the emergency department. So I like that they're uh, true to size. Um, so I'm just going to grab this here and go the go stitch. So I do like the silicone material. It doesn't look like it would easily rip through, which is nice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and tie this off. One thing that I have noticed with the silicone mask is that the, the, the surgeon's knot doesn't always hold tension on it. So it tends to kind of come a little bit loose, um, but it's okay when you're practicing. Um, it's not that big of a deal just to get the practice. So did that, did that stitch. So you can see how there is a little bit of a gap there, but I think that's typically how um, silicone mats tend to behave. So we'll throw one more just for thoroughness and see how that one reacts. So we'll throw it up here. Take a little bite. I really like the, the size of this kit. I like that it's portable. You can practice it pretty much anywhere you, you can go. It's not big or bulky. Um, so you can see here, I threw the surgeon's knot and it tends to kind of open back up. So it's hard to get that replicated. I'm trying my best um, to keep it shut, um, but that does kind of come apart, which is okay. We just have to keep that in mind when we're practicing um, that it, it doesn't, necessarily uh, approximate 100%, but that's okay. We can just uh, work with that. Um, overall, I really like this kit. I think it's it has everything that you need as a student or medical professional to practice your suturing at home. Um, so if you like this kit and you think you might want to invest in it, um, go ahead and check out the link below. Um, you can click that and um, take a look at it. And if you want to buy it, go ahead. So this is the review again of the uh, Med Architect Suture Practice Kit. We want to thank uh, the folks over at Med Architect who donated this uh, um, kit so that we could look at it. Thank you so much.